What's up everybody? Another day in the car business. Today is Saturday and uh, we are now in the uh, second part of tax season going into week two. Pretty much finished up week one. Chad ended up selling 11 and a half vehicles from this past Thursday to, no, this past Friday to Thursday. Our pay period goes from Friday to Thursday. So those days there sold 11 and a half cars. I think I could have got out probably about 15 or so, but there was a few deals that uh, just kind of fell through the cracks. And that's just how it goes sometimes. So truly blessed to get 11 and a half car deals out. Though, I mean, hey, there's been one other time in the past six months of me working here where I sold 10 cars in a week and my, uh, my paycheck was over 1500 bucks. I think it was around 1675. Um, this week sold uh, 11 and a half and uh, was a little bit less though on the money. A few things had to come out of my check uh, due to, to a, a key that a customer walked off with. And uh, I'll tell you, a customer took a key of a car to our dealership. I guess she forgot that it was in her pocket or something and she never brought it back. So I had to pay for a key to get cut. So anyway, this check was a little bit smaller than what I, in a, you know, wanted it to be but hey whatever we got to move forward and just keep pushing but uh, with that being said um, today's Saturday it's a new day let's hope we can get things rocking and rolling and um, and get the ball going here at the dealership the only concern that I have right now with selling cars this week is our first week let's say Mike Tyson did 15 car deals I did 11 and a half um, the owner's father did probably six or seven deals, and uh, and then uh, our our lady salesperson in there did a few deals. We probably sold over 30 plus cars at our store this past week. But with that being said, we are pretty much now kind of getting down to the nitty gritty of our inventory. It's not that we don't have cars out here to sell, but what most people have been coming in on buying is those cars that are anywhere between $2,000 and $3,500. And with that being said, we do have a few cars I'm gonna show you today on the lot that you could buy for around that price range. But what I will show you is that the cars that we have out here now are cars that are over that price range. And uh, and then on top of that, we have some cars out here that are just kind of oddball vehicles that not everybody necessarily would be interested in. But let's get the vlog started on a Saturday and let's see how it goes today. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go inside, drop this water off real quick. Let's get the video started. And then we're gonna come back outside. I'm gonna show y'all some of our inventory and um, hopefully some people that are looking for a car might watch this video, whether it's on Facebook or YouTube or whatnot. And uh, maybe we can maybe we can sell a car just by making a video here. So that would be definitely a blessing. But let's, uh, oh, thank you, Mr. Seabrook. Okay. Um, What's up, Chad? What's up, good morning. Oh, wow, look at this, everybody. Look at this. Now, I came in this morning live streaming and walked into here and I was in shock. Balloons, poster boards, cards. Let's show you what they got going on here today. And then I will share you a story of um, why this is all in here, okay? Again, congrats, man, 15. Thank you. 11 and a half, we rocked and rolled, man. Yeah. We did. Was that a lot of work? Man, it was a lot of work, but we got it done because we can do it and we know we can do better. We sure and can. This is just the start, I mean. We got a whole nother, what, couple weeks, you think? Man, we on the way up on the way up so we are on the way up all right let's show you these balloons and tell y'all what's going on here all right guys so again I came in this morning and this is what's on my desk let me show y'all congrats on the Baltimore job offer goodbye and good luck wishing you all good things you deserve you'll be missed good luck to you and your family <laughs> okay I know that you have what it takes to survive this and you'll come out even stronger that's what makes you so amazing. Wow. Man, thank you to the team at the Auto Buy Center. Wow, and this is just such a, uh, an awesome thing to have here this morning. So we're gonna talk about this just real quickly here. Um, <laughs> I, um, yeah, wow, Baltimore, huh? So anyways, uh, had somebody from, uh, 
from Baltimore, a uh, general manager of a car dealership up there that's been watching the videos here on YouTube. And, uh, and this guy sends me a message on Facebook and uh, basically is trying to see if he can get me to come work up there in Baltimore. And uh, basically, yeah, that's what this is all about. I was chit-chatting with the guys here that own the store about this, this particular job offer, you know. <laughs> I never said I was going to move to Baltimore. Um, no one has necessarily, uh, I have not agreed on any figures. I haven't negotiated with this person. No offers have necessarily been put out there like this is how much money you can make. Um, basically, one man, a general manager of a new car dealership had messaged me and said, hey man, I love watching your videos online. I love your energy. He's like, I would love to have you working up here with us in Baltimore at our dealership. And uh, you know, you know, he said, well, you know, what, what's it going to take to get you up here? So, anyways, that's kind of the starting starting point. Well, what it will take to get me to any other state or any other uh, place where I have to get up and move my family, and I'll just be uh, pretty broad on this. Um, I, this is probably uh, I've already done this two times. Okay. Um, we moved to Jacksonville, Florida, and then we moved near Savannah, Georgia, which was in a little town called Beaufort, uh, near Paris Island Marine Base, um, uh, one other time. But, um, you know, both times that I've got up and moved my family, what it took to get us going there is, of course, moving expenses paid for to get us up there, be able to find a home and all that. So you're talking about a couple grand on that one. And then a um, some kind of uh, salary set up on uh, how much it's gonna cost for me to, or how much money am I gonna make working for your group. Um, if I were to relocate to another state, even as far up as Michigan, Baltimore, up that way, um, you know, I would want to possibly be maybe a sales manager um, or some kind of guy there at the stores that's gonna help do advertising on lot at the dealership. And on top of that, you know, promote sales and everything it's going to take to be able to sell more cars. Um, I know it can be done because, well, I've been doing it for the last eight, nine years. In 2010, I left working for the Acura and Audi store here in Charleston as a salesman and went out and started doing video and advertising full time. So I can do it. I've done it for many groups, okay? But um, anyways, uh, we've had some downfalls in 2018 and, uh, and thankfully, uh, me and the guys here at the store here uh, met and uh, I worked out a little agreement with them where I could come work here just selling cars until um, I can get things rolling again. So, with that being said, there is no yes or no on going to Baltimore yet. Got to work out some, uh, some fine details on that whole situation and then possibly, um, if it all works out, maybe we'll move to Baltimore. Who knows? I haven't even told my wife this yet. <laughs> so, she doesn't even have a clue. She might not have a clue until she watches this video. But anyway, so that's what we got going on here. Things got to be all in place. The stars have to align to get me and my family um, up and out of Granny's house where we're staying and being able to, uh, to get back on our feet as an American family. All right, guys, let's walk out on the lot. Let's check out some cars. All right, guys, let's take a look at some cars. Let's see what we got left over since last week was a crazy busy week. Um, my, my fear right now is basically us running out of inventory to sell because there's as busy as it was last week and I only did 11 and a half and he did 15 which is a great week but for us to be able to do that many car sales again this week we would have to have a stacked up inventory out here like we had last week and unfortunately the two guys that own our store they have gone to two different auctions last week to buy cars the first one they came back with two cars and then yesterday they came back with four cars and uh and they're good looking cars they're great cars but they're not cars that are going to be able to be sold in that twenty five hundred to three thousand dollar price range and that's really what we need so with that being said let's show you what we got left what are we gonna do? So the cars that we have left right now are cars that basically hundreds of people that have stopped by here just didn't seem to want to buy. Like a Mercedes-Benz S550 for $8,900, which I've had several offers on it for around seven grand, and the dealership hasn't wanted to take it. $2,450 for a Jeep Grand Cherokee 2002 model that shakes and the engine runs crazy and it's got some problems. A Jeep Liberty for $29.95 that I could possibly sell for $2,500. For some reason, people keep turning away from it. A Saturn View that's actually really nice and has not one issue with it that I know of. 
39.95 car, but just doesn't seem to want to sell. A 5750 Ford Explorer Sport Track. The reason that hasn't sold is really because of the price, because people are looking to spend less money. Okay, it takes just the right person to buy something like that. Another Jeep Liberty for 3,500. I know it'll sell eventually. It's a limited package with sunroof and leather. A Toyota Camry that's a stick shift for 2,500 bucks with over 200,000 miles. It drives great. It runs good, but it's a stick shift. Just the right person will have to buy it. A Kia Soul for $3,000, but it's a stick shift. That's why it hasn't sold. A Subaru Outback Limited all-wheel drive with leather and sunroof, a beautiful car, 2012 for $7,500. That's why it hasn't sold. A Chevy Trailblazer that we've had on the lot for quite over six months now. We finally did a motor swap on it and fixed it. The engine now in there has around 125,000 miles. The price went from 3,900 with a bad motor now up to 5,500 with a good motor. But a nice vehicle in good shape with leather and all that. And it's an LT with the trailer package. A Range Rover for $7,500 cash with 305,000 miles has some dents and dings all that we had an 09 range rover out here for eight thousand dollars with 186,000 miles so it's a no-brainer that someone would pick the 09 with a hell of a lot less mileage than this one here so it's going to take some time to sell that one a black trailblazer for around 29.95 i think the only reason it hasn't sold yet is because it's a little bit rough around the edges and on the inside of the interior a infinity g35x that just hasn't seemed to want to sell. People love these cars, but the price is $49.95 and it has over 250,000 miles on it. So it's kind of in that oddball range on the money. What else do we have, right? Well, let's take a look. A Nissan Sentra for $32.50 that I could probably sell for around $3,000. The problem with it is, is when you crank it up, it's a really rough riding engine. It has a CVT transmission, and once you get driving in it, it just doesn't feel all that great when going down the road. That And it's small, so that may be a reason on why it hasn't sold yet. I do not know. Sometimes it takes just the right person to come get them. What else do we have out here, right? Well, for $29.95, we have a Chevy Equinox. I thought that would have sold by now, but obviously it hasn't. A Volvo XC90 that I have had over hundreds and hundreds of messages on. It's only around $3,000. The reason why the Volvo hasn't sold yet is because the dash inside of the car does not cut on. You don't know how fast you're going. You don't know how much gas you have going. It has no power to the dash inside the Volvo. And also, the AC and air conditioner and all that, the system doesn't cut on, so you have no air. You have 255 air with the windows down. You have an air coming in. But as of right now, no power to any of the dash at all other than a radio. A Toyota Camry for $39.95, $4,000 with 279,000 miles. It might sell. It most likely will sell. But it does have its fair share of dents, dings, and scratches on it. Just saying. A Pontiac G6 V6 with sunroof and cloth for around $2,250. That will sell eventually, but hasn't sold yet. A Toyota Corolla that's $29, no, actually $39.95, $4,000 for a Corolla manual transmission. So it will sell, but it will take some time. A Jaguar that's going to sell, but not just yet. So a few other cars we can't sell or we haven't sold are the BMW Z4 Roadster, 5Gs, that's an awful lot. Five grand for a Nissan Versa with 85,000 miles on it. That's probably why it hasn't sold yet because of the price on it, but man, low mileage. The Acura RDX I thought was sold. A young lady was supposed to come back yesterday to buy it. She never showed back up. A Infiniti Q35 or something like that just came in. Nobody knows about it yet because there's no pictures of it on the internet yet. And then we got a 300ZX, super cool, old school classic car, 1987, 167,000 miles, or 116,000 miles on it. We need to do an in-depth review on it, maybe today if it doesn't get too busy, and it's 7,500. So it's a quite a lot of money for that car. And we got many more available as well at the lot, but we got a customer here right now looking to buy a car that's under 2,500, and he can drive a stick. So the goal today is to sell a car. So let's get off the video and start doing it.